Now, the union cabinet last week gave its go-ahead to the TV rating guidelines approving Tri's proposal from last year. The guidelines make the rating scenario extremely interesting considering TAM, currently the only rating agency in India, will have to reduce its cross-holding from 50 to 10 percent in 30 days and increase its meters to 20,000 in six months. All this at a time when BAC, the joint industry body, is looking to set up its own rating system by October of this year. So I caught up with BAC members Puneet Goenka and Shashi Sinha to chat about the implication of these guidelines, BAC's progress and TAM's fate. You cannot miss this one. Big news uh, last week on uh, you know the TV guidelines. Um, now, there's a lot of ambiguity on what that really means, considering the, you know, there's only one rating agency right now in TAM. Uh, first, you, Puneet, uh, if I could ask you to wear your broadcaster hat and uh, tell me uh, how you see this panning out, given the number of guidelines and the fact that, you know, the current TV rating uh, agency, which is TAM, has to adhere to it in 30 days. No, I think that definitely the guidelines that the government has put out is beneficial for the industry overall. Uh, we have been saying that the inadequacy part of the system has to be addressed. And by putting the minimum number of homes that the government has envisaged, it will definitely help the broadcasters as well as the advertisers. Uh, the question on TAM adhering to it within 30 days, I think it's something I can't comment on. It is something that they will have to see how they're going to adhere to all the uh, uh, guidelines. I think the only thing that conflicts is the cross-holding. All other things they have six months to implement. Sure. So that's ample time in our view. So, you know, he's brought up the cross-holding. That is, you know, to bring down uh, the holding from 50 to 10 percent within 30 days. That also looks like a tough call considering you know, restructure everything. Uh, but the other, uh, uh, other uh, guideline that came in was that they need to increase their meters to 20,000 within six months. Yeah. Uh, even that, I mean, the last time I spoke with LV, uh, he said that every meter costs about a lakh and fifty thousand if you include landing costs, and the, the the debate that has been going on forever has been that who's going to fund these meters. So even to bring it up to twenty thousand meters in six months seems very improbable because the funding issue has not yet been sorted out. So without getting into pricing, because I don't know LV's pricing, mm -hmm. but obviously when we are putting out bark, uh, in a manner of speaking, we also moving towards twenty thousand meters. Not only are we moving towards twenty thousand meters. We are also planning 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 because finally the TRI guidelines are up to 50,000. So we have looked at a pricing model or a cost model uh, and meters is a very key part of that uh, cost. So obviously we know we have to get there. So without getting into details of what LV's cost or TAM's cost and what our cost and meters are going to be, obviously we are looking at a model which is a lot more robust. Shashi, but I mean, if it's a, a seasoned player such as TAM and the only player here who has got experience in the measurement system, is saying that they are finding it difficult uh, to, you know, if they figured out uh, a way of uh, pricing it uh, and to the best of their ability, we hope, how will you bring it down, the cost? So let me put it this way to you. Uh, this is a joint industry body. Uh, they are all constituents at play. We are a non-profit organization. Uh, so Section 25 companies, so our objective is not to make money out of this, but our objective is to deliver. And the, the technology we are using is far advanced. The technology we are recommending we are going it is far advanced is also with modern technology is not necessarily more expensive is far cheaper so let me put it this way broadly speaking without over committing myself that the first 20000 meters we feel we will give at the same price at what was being charged for 8000 9000 10000 meters so with technology a lot is possible so i'm not sure uh, you know uh, that when we put out our meters they will be as expensive as the numbers you talked about okay uh, puneet coming to you uh, can one assume that by at least October of 2014, BAC will kick off and the measurement system will go active? Yes, uh, latest by October 2014, it will be commercially available. We are hoping that we can work towards a, a sooner deadline, but that's the outer limit that we've set for ourselves. So then what happens to the fate of TAM? I mean, then this is the natural death, whether it's right now in 30 days or, you know, a matter of six to eight months, TAM is, TAM's death is inevitable. If we have a robust bark system in place, and the, the qualification I'm doing is that we have to have a robust bark system in place, why would someone want to subscribe to systems? When you're saying that you're going to move up from 8,000 to 20,000, I mean, one can safely assume that when bark launches, you can't be using TAM meters. No, no. Right? They'll be your own meters. So you're starting from the point of zero. Yeah. Right? Your deployment. Yeah. Which means when you start in October, you'll have to start with 20,000. Yeah, absolutely. Correct? Yeah. So, uh, and you're saying that you've improved the technology significantly. 
how are you doing this uh, uh, with costing that is so much lesser than so, right, that's the that's the that's the brilliance you know and the, before i come to the answer question the one more thing i want to make that we have done three levels of checks so there will be one agency which will be doing the technology solutions there is another agency which will be doing the field so that you know the field operation and recruitment and the third agency will put out the rating the bark will put out the ratings so that there checks and balances at every level so the reasons we latched on to water marking is not only because it's the best technology in the world on this it's very easy and cheap to do it's it's replicable you know so current meters are made in a particular way they are made in certain markets and uh, then they are uh, you know they are brought in their margins built in their export duties built in we are working with intel closely on some of our meters so if you there's a queue in what i'm saying there so the point i'm making is therefore it's a it's a assumption to make the, that the modern technology and more new meters means more expensive it's not a big differences in the meter cost so you know whatever licensing we are doing the license will remain fixed okay. is the incremental cost primarily going to be primarily not right. every primarily going to be in the meter cost right obviously and, and there's yeah. a huge difference in that so, if i can add to what she is saying uh. is that current the traditional metering systems are all proprietary technologies whereas what he has chosen to go for is an open standard technology okay therefore a lot of the components are off the shelf and and we don't have to discuss cost of motherboards and those kind of thing everybody knows how cheap those have become the fact that the proprietary technology has been being used till date uh, there might be conflict of interest there with transfer pricing etc coming into play which might inflate costs uh, a lot more than what one desires am i accurate in saying that globally there are only two three big companies which are proprietary technology without mentioning names when we started this path so there were prices which were there and when we went upon this technology one of the vendors i won't mention who it was rebid at a dramatic lower price uh, to compete you know just to give me a, give me a sense how much investment has gone behind this entire process our endeavor is and we are quite hopeful that we should achieve with it today if the industry is spending x uh, we should be able to deliver the first stage of bark ratings in the ballpark of the same x which is with the 20000 meters you're saying so with the same amount you will not you will not not you will not have 8000 but you will go up to 20000 that's the endeavor we are so working towards and we are pretty confident that we should be achieve it, able to achieve it within that ballpark sure it so may not be down to the ana price so the industry i think spends close to about 110 crores per annum today okay. on, on the rating system on tam rating system so we are looking at that as the ballpark even in the pricing of box rating system yeah. there will be complete transparency as opposed to the current scenario well currently it's a bilateral negotiation whereas in bark there will be no negotiations there will be a flat rate there will be formulas it will be a, a rate card based uh, yeah. based on what services you want and based on number of channels based on various criteria and you can sit and compute what z is paying i can sit and compute what times is paying okay so it will be as transparent as that